American muscle cars are known for their powerful engines, sleek designs, and iconic status. They are symbols of speed, performance, and freedom. However, not all muscle cars are available in the U.S. market. Some of them are exclusive to other countries, either because of legal restrictions, limited production, or different preferences. In this video, we will explore eight awesome American muscle cars you can't get in the U.S. and why they are so desirable. Number 8. The Maverick GT V8 was available only in Brazil, where it was launched in 1973. It had a 302 cubic inch Windsor V8 engine that produced 197 horsepower and 282 pound feet of torque. The Maverick GT V8 had a distinctive appearance with a black hood, dual exhausts, and GT badges. It was also equipped with a four speed manual transmission, a limited slip differential, and front disc brakes. In 1975, Ford introduced the Maverick GT with a Quadrajet four-barrel carburetor, which raised the power level to 255 horses and made this compact very fast. The Maverick GT V8 was a popular car among enthusiasts and racers, and it became a cult classic in Brazil. Number 7. The 1973 Chevrolet Forenza Can-Am was a rare and powerful muscle car built in South Africa by General Motors. It was based on the Vauxhall Forenza Coupe, but it had a 302 cubic inch V8 engine from the Camaro Z28, making 290 horsepower. Power went to the rear axle through a four-speed manual gearbox. Only 100 Forenza Can-Ams were made, as required by the homologation rules for the South African Argus production car series. The little Chev is very fast. With a weight of only 2,425 pounds, it takes just 5.4 seconds to rocket to 60 miles per hour, an incredible performance for the era. It was also very distinctive, with a white body, a black fiberglass hood, an aluminum spoiler, and alloy wheels. The Forenza Can-Am is considered a legend among South African car enthusiasts and a highly collectible car in other countries as well. Number 6. With a 351 Cleveland V8 engine under its hood, the 1971 Ford Falcon GTHO Phase 3 was a beast of a car. It was a special edition of the Ford Falcon XY GT, built for racing glory in the Australian Touring Car Championship and the Bathurst 500. It boasted 370 horses and 380 pound-feet of torque, making it the fastest four-door sedan in the world at the time. It could sprint to 60 in a mere 6.4 seconds and complete a quarter mile in 14.4 seconds. With an optional 3.9 to 1 ratio differential, this figure is shortened to 13.9 seconds. Only 300 of these rare gems were produced from May to November 1971, and fewer than 100 are estimated to remain today. In early 2021, an immaculate blue 1971 Ford Falcon XY GT8 O Phase 3 fetched a record-breaking $1.15 million Australian dollars at an auction. Number 5. The Chevrolet Opala SS was based on the German Opel Record and Commodore, but with a local design and a North American engine. It was launched in 1971 as a four-door sedan, but soon became a two-door coupe in 1972. The Opala SS featured a 250 cubic inch inline six-cylinder engine, making 140 horses, a four-speed manual transmission, and distinctive exterior and interior styling. The Opala SS was also a popular race car in Brazil, competing in drag races, road races, and endurance races such as the 24 Hours of Interlagos. It was during these events that a rivalry between Chevrolet and Ford emerged as the Opala SS faced off against the Ford Maverick GT. Number 4. In the early 1970s, a unique and powerful machine roared into existence, the Ford Capri Piranha. This was not just any Ford Capri, but a special edition modified by Basil Green Motors in South Africa with the official blessing and warranty of Ford. It was the only Capri 5.8 in the world that had Ford's seal of approval. The Capri Piranha packed a punch with a 302 Windsor V8 engine from the Mustang, 
delivering 281 horses of raw power. It also had upgraded suspension and brakes to handle the extra force. On the road, it was a beast, accelerating from 0 to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds, completing a quarter mile in 14.5 seconds, and reaching a top speed of 143 miles per hour. The Capri Piranha had a strong demand and appeal, with over 500 road cars sold and delivered between 1970 and 1973 in South Africa. Number 3. Beaumont SD396 was a Canadian muscle car legend born from the Chevrolet Chevelle SS396, but with its own unique flair. It sported a Pontiac-style split grille, Beaumont badges, and a maple leaf emblem on the wheel covers. It roared to life from 1966 to 1969, courtesy of General Motors of Canada, and was exclusively available at Pontiac Buick dealerships. The SD396 was the ultimate Beaumont a rare and powerful beast that packed a 396 cubic inch V8 engine under the hood, delivering 325 to 350 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. It was a force to be reckoned with on the drag strip and the street, a Canadian icon of speed and style. The Beaumont met its end in 1970 when GM Canada opted to sell the Chevrolet Chevelle and the Pontiac Le Mans. Number 2. Based on the XAE Falcon hardtop, the Ford Falcon XC Cobra was a limited edition muscle car that Ford Australia created in 1978 to use up the remaining hardtop shells before the new XD Falcon arrived in 1979. The first 200 Cobras were powered by the mighty 351 Cleveland V8 engine, delivering 217 horses and 316 pound-feet of torque while the other 200 received the 204 horsepower 302 V8 engine, except for the one with the build number 351, which also had the 351 V8. The Cobra had a distinctive white and blue paint scheme inspired by the Shelby Mustangs and featured several performance and cosmetic upgrades. Only 400 units were produced, including 30 special versions for racing at Bathurst. Number 1. The 1972 Valiant Charger RT was a powerful muscle car designed by Chrysler Australia to compete in the Bathurst Enduro. The E49 was the ultimate version of the Charger series, which started in 1971 with the VH model. It had a 265 cubic inch Hemi 6 engine that produced 302 horses, an unprecedented figure for a six-cylinder engine and only surpassed in 1975 by the Porsche Turbo 911. In 1972, Wheels Magazine declared the RTE 49 the fastest accelerating Australian muscle car of all. It could reach 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds and complete a quarter mile in 14.4 seconds. Only 149 units of the E49 were produced, making it a rare and collectible car today.